Hello, this is Derek from Creative Knots, and today we're going to go over the Gold Fold uh, Stamp Toolkit, where you get a bunch of cool little gold, silver, and uh, holographic effects that you can use for print, web, whatever your heart desires. So let's just get to it. Um, this pack comes with uh, layer styles and patterns, and I'm going to go over both of them uh, pretty much in the same time, because you can access the patterns and within the layer styles uh, uh, palette. So let's get started. What I'm going to do here is I'm working with my preview image that I created. Basically a blank canvas with, you know, cool little paper uh, texture in the background. So the first thing I want to do is after I've installed it, which there will be instructions in the download, uh, how to install layer styles and how to also install um, the patterns. Uh, the first thing I do a lot of people, you can go ahead and just use the the styles palette here. And the way you get to that is you go to Windows, and then you go to Styles, and then it'll pop up here depending on whatever version of Photoshop you have. It may already be over here. Um, anyways, just get started. So once you have the palette open, and I'll show you the, the other way to do it too. You click on the layer, you want to apply the effects, and then you just click on uh, the style. And as you can see, you'll be able to change it as you go along. Now, you may be asking yourself, okay, well, what type of control do I have when I start messing with the styles? So, that's the perfect question. Um, and this is the second way to get to the layer styles uh, options. And what you do is you right-click on your layer and you go to blending options. And here, you can start by, let me uh, get this over a little bit. You can start by clicking on the styles if you wish. But what's cool about this is once you have the styles once you click on a style, and you, if you have the patterns installed, you can also, uh, excuse me, you can also access the gold and silver styles uh, within here. So then you have to go back here, and, and you know, anytime you click, it's generally going to default the pattern uh, scale to 50%. So here, I like to start at 100, and let's zoom in a little bit just so you can get an idea of, you know, how clean the textures are and stuff like that. So here. All you want to do is just select the one that you fancy the best. And as you can see, there's a bunch of them here. You know, I like this one for this effect. And if you want to reduce the size of the pattern, again, I, I say this to everybody, the scale has to work, it has, has to be divisible. So, you know, 100 divided by 2 is going to be 50. 50 divided by uh, 2 is going to be 25. Then we go down to 10 because you can't actually do 12.5. Or maybe you can in a new version of Photoshop. Let's see, nope, you can't. Okay, so you want to go down to 10, 5, 2, oops, sorry, 2 or 1. But for generally high resolution, you're going to be working in 150. And uh, for this, I'm going to go ahead and work in 50. And you can just move it around. It's 100% seamless. You can get all sorts of different effects by moving it around. Um, you know, you want to back out a little bit, kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. And then from here, you can just change it. Go up, that's too small. You can bump it up to 100. And you can see I spent a good amount of time getting these textures just right. And some of them are a little subtle. Some of them a little out in front. So, and again, you can just, you can use the silver tones of them as well. And what I like to do is once I find one that I know I'm going to use, I will go ahead and copy the layer style. So you can right click on the layer and go to copy style. And then what we can do here is we can apply them to everything. And then wham, look at that. And if you just wanted to edit maybe, you know, add some separation there, I would go to like one of the top layers where the text is, you know, make that silver. Hit okay. And I would copy that and just paste it over here. And then I would be done. And you know, there is some other styles that you can do too. There's like this uh, holographic look, which is pretty cool. And then here, since I'm working at a higher resolution with my new 4K monitor, I would uh, go to pattern overlay and I would go to 100. And then if you want to just kind of tweak around with the holographic setting, you can just basically change the angle of the gradient overlay, which is cool. You know, change the scale, whatever you decide to do change the style to reflected. There's a lot of neat things that you can do with uh, this kit. I'm gonna go back to the gold because I like that the most. 
And then I'm just going to go through some of the other preview images of what you've probably already seen. So here's some things that I've done just quickly. You know, I did a cool little uh, picture frame, uh, decorative, that you could, uh, you know, set around your house, do whatever. Um, this is like just some decorative text that you could use for, let's say, a, a, you know, an invite for a wedding or a birthday party or, you know, a reunion, you know, just married, you know. Again, this would be stuff that you would use for like cards and invitations. And then here I just kind of did a nice little treatment to uh, the text. And then this kind of just shows you the variations. But you could do a lot of neat stuff with this. Um, I've had a lot of customers uh, email me just some amazing things that I would have never thought of. But, um, you know, I hope you have a good time with this. And if you have questions, you know how to reach me via the email and your uh, help documents. And if you just... If you, if you just stumbled upon this and you haven't actually uh, purchased this product, there will be a link in the description below that will take you to a place where you can uh, purchase it. So, again, thanks for joining me, and um, I hope to see you guys uh, leave some comments and, you know, email me some uh, things that you've been working on. All right. Take care. Bye.